Aloha and welcome everyone. Uh, you got Aniela here today. Happy Sunday. I am a coach with the Be With Your Twin Flame program. And today we're talking folks about something that, oh, as a coach and as a person myself who has been on this journey and uh, you know, moving along in this journey in the very beginning, it was a very tough journey. Um, this one thing is just amazing as a coach to see from my students. We're talking about not being afraid to fail anymore. When you find yourself on the twin flame journey and oh my gosh, you know, we, we say it all the time. We talk about it all the time about everything just seem to be, seems to be so magnified, so intensified. And it is because once your fear-based energy gets activated on the twin flame journey, because your soul recognized itself in the physical form of another person, my goodness, all bets are off everything's out the window everything that you go through or have issues with become intensely magnified intensified not just on this journey directly relating with your tf but in all parts of your life so it seems so if this is you and this this um headline caught your attention please stay tuned and listen because we are talking today about not being afraid to fail anymore which is one of the biggest biggest benefits that comes out of balancing your fear-based energy when you learn how to do that on this journey what ends up happening folks is you become so uh, what is the word I'm, i just had it on the tip of my tongue you become so immersed in learning how to balance and learning how to recognize the fear-based energy in just say for that example being afraid to fail because being afraid to fail you know that's your fear-based energy but just being able to recognize that you become so focused on recognizing your tw your excuse me your fear-based energy that all of that starts to dissipate and starts to balance out being afraid to fail folks i'm gonna tell you something right now you're not gonna believe it because it's all out in the physical world it is everywhere you know they have compilations of videos of you know gym fails they have pet walking fails they have makeup fails you know quote unquote fails that word in and of itself is huge. It's huge. And people do not realize the impact that it really has in how they're looking at things, how they're perceiving things, how their perspective, their outward look at things is all, not all, but many times just totally immersed in not wanting to fail. There is no failure, folks. There is no failure. Now, like I said, Madonna, you ain't going to believe me out there. It is true. There is no failure. And why is that, Aniela? Because when you start learning, <laughs> when you start learning that everything has a purpose and a reason in how it happened or what happened or it happening or not happening, period, everything has a purpose and a reason because it is orchestrated by your soul. Once you start resonating with those things, you'll start to see there is no such thing as a failure. Now, people will be like, you're probably saying this to yourself, you know, if you're watching this in your car or, you know, it's on the side and you're making lunch or whatever, you're going, oh my gosh, that's not true. I failed at this. I failed at that. I failed at this. It is just a word, true story. It is just a word and a label. However, people will take that and that's where they're going to, come at you from that's where they're gonna they're gonna paint the picture of life of not wanting to fail they feel like they have to be perfect they feel like they have to do everything correctly no how do you learn if you don't learn that this doesn't work or that doesn't work if everything in your life worked out exactly how you wanted it to every single second every every day 24 7 365 what is there to learn why are you even here that's not even something that we even want to go into because then we'll have all these philosophy you know people thinking like oh there's the the mystery of life and all this kind of stuff no it's very simple there is no failure because 
everything that happens happens for a reason and if you're going to ask yourself how do how do i even begin aniela to look at it that way you've heard it you've said you've said it a thousand times you have a friend or maybe even you at some point in your life you know yeah uh, maybe somebody came along and you wanted to maybe look into dating them or asking them out and then a little time goes by and you find out oh you know maybe that person's a little off the rail or whatever you know um and that might have not worked for me and what do we say all the time what do we hear whoa i dodged that bullet whoa I dodged that hurricane. Whoa, I dodged that tsunami, correct? Y'all are knowing and you, you, you know what I'm talking about. However, you don't look back and go, no, I should have just went and saw it through. I should have did it it's because I don't want to fail. No, you dodged it. You know you missed out. You know it was a good, quote unquote, good thing. It's okay. You don't look at that as a failure you know but in the same sense when it comes to resonating that there is no failing it's very difficult for people to do that but folks i assure you there is no failing everything that ever has happened on your path in your life in your daily routine in things that you can't forget that happened 30 years ago everything happened for a reason and a purpose and when you start resonating with that all of a sudden you realize that everything you do, everything that happens, everything that comes in or doesn't come in is orchestrated by your soul. And that if it works, right on. If it doesn't, right on. You know, it's just, it has no personal reflection on you whatsoever. What is a personal reflection on you is how you react to it and how you internalize it and how you take that and you cross another notch on your wall and say, there's another failure. There is no failure, folks. There is no failure. Everything happens for a reason. And it's the reason for we judge things is why we think it's a failure. We judge it as good. We judge it as bad. But when you stop judging things as either good or bad and understanding and resonating that it's just happening, this is happening for me, what am I going to do with it? Everything happens for a reason. And most times you can't see that reason like right there in that moment. And that's fine. A little later on, a little more clarity comes, a little more time passes, and you can see bullseye straight on why things happen the way they happen. When we start to get out of being afraid to fail, when we start resonating that no matter what we do, we can't mess anything up, then we know we have free liberty. It's freedom, absolute freedom, because no longer are you afraid to put in that, that job application or your resume no longer are you afraid to walk into your boss's office and say you know what i have been working my ass off and i deserve a little more pay or i deserve a little more time off you you're not afraid to do those things you're not even afraid to ask that gal out in the starbucks that you've been seeing for months kind of like her you guys locked eyes a little bit but you were so afraid that you're gonna ask her out or even just hey can i buy you a cup of coffee and she was gonna say no. You're no longer coming from that place, folks. And that's all because on this journey, when you start learning how to, to balance your fear-based energy, you start learning that everything happens for a reason. It's impossible to fail. It is absolutely impossible to fail. There is no failure. When you start seeing this play out in your life, and you're coming from a place I can't fail, that's where, folks, all your opportunities start opening wide up and are starting to lay out, just lay out on the road right in front of you. That's what happens on this journey when you start resonating with there is no failure because you're learning how to balance your fear-based energy. This journey is tough enough as it is, and as the fear-based energy has us focusing so hard, which is what you're gonna get out of when you start learning how to balance your fear-based energy, it has us focusing so hard 
on the twin flame, getting the twin flame back. Oh, I don't want him to be pissed off at me. Oh, I shouldn't have hurt her. Oh, I shouldn't have hurt him. None of that. This journey is so much more than that. And when you start learning how to balance your fear-based energy, you truly start to see what this journey is about. It's about you. And if anyone can walk away from this today knowing what it's like to have that not bothering you at the back of your head anymore, it is absolute freedom, folks. It's that way in everything. It becomes that way, not just on the twin flame journey, not, not just resonating that you didn't mess up, you didn't fail. Your twin flame didn't mess up, your twin flame didn't fail. But everything in life, everything in life, you never failed, you were just learning. You were just going through an experience that your soul orchestrated for you to learn a little bit more about yourself. And that's why this journey comes upon you. You wanna learn about yourself. You wanna learn what this journey is really about and seeing all the beautiful, beautiful milestone improvements that happen to our students as well as me on this journey, you're gonna go ahead and click on that link. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna send you off on this Sunday. I hope you all get outside if you can. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Ahui ho and malama pono. Bye, everybody.